it's time to knock on the door of Dungeon 4. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Big Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. And it's now time for, instead of Fun for Five, it is directly to Master System Monday because, of course, we are playing some Golden Axe Warrior. <clears throat> so, we've got our map. Let me go this one. We've got our map right here. This is Dungeon 4. This is our target. We're going for at least the canoe in this playthrough, if not going all the way to try to defeat the blue, blue Necromancer, which is the boss there. And then, of course, we got our map. We are at the beginning of the game, which is around here-ish, right there. And we got to get all the way up to here in A1. So we did, on our last playthrough um, last week, we did get the longsword which seems to be helping a lot so hopefully i won't have to run as much through the crazy um heavier bosses or not bosses but heavier enemies up in the top with the, you know, the guys that throw the rocks at you and all that kind of stuff because it was just getting ridiculous um and i wasn't able to <clears throat> wasn't able to make much progress before just getting destroyed by projectiles and all that kind of those axe thrower guys um the blue uh slimes with the split up and all that kind of stuff um it seems that the longsword is definitely our friend here so we're gonna keep a hold of that um and work our way up so let me just look here at the map uh, i've got yeah we're gonna cut across we're gonna go up we're gonna cut across again all right so i think we've got a good we got a good shape i'm actually gonna put the map in front of me here um, <clears throat> as we play this one, and uh, <clears throat> let's let's do it. Let's go straight for Dungeon Four. Get in there and see what we see. If it's too hot for TV, <laughs> let's say, um, then uh, then I say maybe we'll double back and um, and go to that save point. Um, maybe we can get in and still get the canoe and get out. Not sure, but uh, if it's too hot and we can't do it, then we'll we'll do it. We'll we'll try again next week. Um, when we have some more time, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's go to Golden Axe Warrior and get this done. <clears throat> All right. Here we are, ready to rock. Got our sword. Um, I think we need to just go straight here. Yeah. Oops. So we don't have enough... We don't have a lot of range with this weapon, but where the lack of range is, we have the power, you know, because it's no longer two hits. <clears throat> you can just get up in there um, and and get it get it done. We're gonna run through most of this, all right? Uh, taking our our right here. Um, what do we got here? <clears throat> We're in the desert. We gotta go up, I think. Yeah, up and over. Let's see if that's uh, any different there. All right, so that's two. It's a two hit on those scorpion guys, which is, I think, a little better than it was last time, which is okay. Oh. Ah, just getting hit there. Okay, so, all right. These are where some of these other guys are showing up. Um, all right, where is that? Just want to, don't want to lose where I am. This right here. Get our magic rope up to this section. Oh, actually, that's not where we want to go. Whoops, my bad. Um, all right, can we go up this way? Nope. That's just another thing. All right. Ugh. All right. Those are two, two hit, two hits on those now is a lot better uh, than it was. Um, you know what? I don't know if I've got enough to stay at the inn, but I might have to. Yeah, I might have to take a dip in the cool waters of the inn. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right. So we made it to the inn. I'm actually going to do an inn and a save. Yeah, 20 horns. All right. Good stuff. We're gonna save. We're gonna save right here. 
Um, cause at least then we're, we're where we need to be in order to get to, um, a one. So we need to go into there. I needed to take the right hand turn and then up. Okay. So I need to get into the mountain area of, of, uh, C five and then go right to, or, um, the mountain area of C four, go right to D four up over up left over the bridge and then we're in towards the uh we're in towards the desert palace all right so let's see let's see how crazy this gets all right so this i think is okay ah okay so this is oh yeah we can go this way too i forgot about that this is how we got up there last time when we were on the hunt for what I thought was A5, but was really AE. Um, <clears throat> so we're actually we're just going to chill right here real quick. Um, as I go up here, yep, it's over. Take this bridge. Go over here. Take this bridge. Now we're up here. That's a lot easier with uh, with those with those guys. Ow. Um, being so these guys are two hits. I'm not gonna mess around with them. All right, cool. What we got here? Can I? Um, oh, I might need some. Uh, I'm not gonna mess around with it. Maybe some some health. Nope. Maybe some health again. You never know when this one has a, uh, there we go, because of bread. <clears throat> I mean, we could go in here, maybe. I'm not going to mess around with it, though. Um, let's see if we got extra enemies there. Yeah, we do. Uh, I got the health, though. I'm okay. Yeah, and these are just these are just uh, some things that might have from bread, so we'll go over here. All right, cool. So we're we're there in pretty short order. <clears throat> Here we are. It's dungeon four. Alright, cool. So let's switch maps. We've successfully made it to dungeon four. Uh we got one life down, which is fine. Um <clears throat> I just want to see where we're at. We gotta get all the way up to C3 in order to get um to get the canoe, but I think we have to take warps in order to get there. Um, C2 is a warp, D3 is a warp, and that's the same warp. So we have to get all the way to D3 in order to get to, <clears throat> um, in order to get to the place where we want to get, to get the canoe. Um, so in order to get the canoe, we've got to, we have to take the warp, but the boss <clears throat> is in, so C2 is warp A, and then yeah, so we got to get our make our way over, take the warp. the The canoe is in is in C three, which is right before the warp. Um. So it's up and over. All right. Yeah. Okay. I I guess we, I guess we can do all that. I don't know how to get to D three though. How do you get to that warp? Do you have to? Do you have to take the? Oh, I guess you need the canoe in order to take the warp to even complete the dungeon. <clears throat> so, all right. So we have to go and see what we see. Let's see. Let's see what kind of enemies we're looking at um, as we go in here. All right. So these aren't too bad. Right. Skeleton guys. Now that we've got the long sword, we got a key. That was in B8. Um, so we've already got, we're already, we're already coming up on, on cool stuff. All right. Oh, these guys are way better um, with the long sword here. And they, they offer you some life, which is awesome. Um, I want to say this might be where you have to use a thunder magic. Um, make sure you have the magic scroll. Yeah. Where it'll help getting through the dungeon. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what's an A7? 
A7 is a whole lot of nothing, it looks like. So this is, I think, where we need to use the magic scroll. Um, so, whoops. So let's, uh, let's go to the magic scroll. And we're going to do this. Whoops. Thunder magic. This one uses some, so we're going to... Boom. He used one pot, but use the thunder scroll, and it gets you going. All right, let's press on. All right, now we're we're in the dark, so we'll light up, light up the sky there. All right. Uh. All right. So that's another cleared room, which is fine. Uh, now we're gonna go to A six. It's weird how there's like I don't know if there's supposed to be shadows or like things appear if you use the I don't know I mean it's another cleared room eh, I'm just gonna keep going because I, I just don't think that there's something in here that that makes sense to me oh my goodness gracious these guys are brutal all right Okay, so I think we're going to definitely need some thunder magic. Oh, maybe not. Right. Those guys really smacked me up, though. We need some life. And we need it bad. Oh, my goodness. A whole nother room full of these guys. All right. Um, so A3 is a key that will help get us further. So I guess we're, gonna, we're just going to have to do it. We're just going to have to tough it through. And hope that the, some of these little guys that are the two hits, oh my goodness, hopefully they'll give me some uh, some uh, some stuff here. Ah, oh! That's brutal. That's brutal. And if I continue, I'm not going to have any magic. Yeah, down to three. And three hearts. Uh, I think, though, the continuation means that the enemies are still... Yeah, they're still gone. So I can so I can slowly but surely plod my way back through. So we'll see. I mean, maybe that's what we'll do. Is we'll use the continues to kind of get our way through. And then um, maybe that's what we'll do. We use the continues get through this part, get the canoe, and get out of here. All right, there we go. And then maybe call that uh, a round then. So I think one of these is one of those things. So we're, we're, because we're going to, we're just going to revisit anyway. Um, let's, uh, let's burn a, whoops. There we go. And then go in here and get that key. I don't know what that is. Can I even hit it? Yeah, it's a three hit, which isn't bad. Oh, sweet. I can hit these guys over the bridge with a sword. Nice. Keep my distance there. All right, some good strategies. All right. Got it. Got the key. Because we're going to need that. So now we've made it all the way up to A3. To get that key, we need to make our way over. Uh, B3 also has a key, so that's the one right next to us. And then C3 has the treasure, so... Let's keep it moving. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I want to mess with these guys. I don't know what that is. Um, all right. So there's a key that's going to appear here, I'm imagining. Uh, that's... All 
All right. Cool, got the key. All right, so we got the extra key. Um, then we can just go straight through, I think. Oh, all right. Yep, we're going to go straight through here, too. And then we got some enemies here. All right, so we got a two-hit two hit skeleton guarding the treasure. That's fine. He dropped one of those. And we got the canoe. All right, so the canoe should... Uh, yep, it is a passive item. Um, so that'll allow us to just kind of, like, hop right in. And now we can traverse, you know, like, little little passage, passages of water. So not the ocean or the end of the thing, but, you know, anything that's like a little bit of a river kind of looks shallow. You can pass through right, right through there. And, of course, that gets us to the warp zone where we can go to try to fight the wizard. But, I mean, come on. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pots, no no good. Yeah, that's not that's not happening. Um, we need a better strategy. Um, but we did get the canoe, so let's hightail it out of here. Let's hope we make it out of here. Um, hightail it out of here, and then um, and then get to um, yeah. We got forty. We got forty horns, so that's at least another stay at the end. So we'll get all the way back uh, to the end, save, um, and then uh, and then take it from there. Yeah, this is okay. So what is this uh, down? Down one. Oh, these guys reappeared. Alright, at least we got one bread. And then we're back. We're back at the uh, at the beginning of the uh, the dungeon here. So, like I said, we got the canoe, um, and that'll help us a little bit. And then let's see if we can make that run. Whew. I think we can do it. I think it's I think it's doable. So let's let's just go for it. Um, let's see if we can get some more, um, more some more bread. We got a pot. Soon we're gonna get that. Uh, that scroll that's going to be able to do us good for um, for some health, which will be nice. Those guys aren't going to appear yet? All right, that's fine. Right. Oof. That was a save right there. I did take that hit, but oof. Took that hit too. Got it. All right, I think we're in the clear. So I want to say these guys are one hit with the sword now. Yeah, they're one hit with the sword. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, that's that. That's down. We need to go straight down here. We need to go over here. And we need to go over and up. And here we are. All right, cool. So we got our 20 horns. Right. And we got our save. All right. But we saved. We got our canoe. We've got the Thunder Scroll so we can get through the rest of the dungeon again. We know what we do. We know what we, what we have to do because we've done it before now. Um, so next week we're going to try and get in and, uh, and get this dungeon done. Um, cause now we don't need the, uh, you yeah, we don't need to, well, we have to fight basically through the path that we got the canoe for, but, um, we'll be a little more conservative. We'll maybe do some pot grinding or something like that. I think this guy has, uh, magic oil, which will fill up your, your pots. That's 160 horns. I don't know. Do we grind for that? Let me know down below. There's a golden apple too. It'll fill our health. So we might need these tools. You know, we, it might it might be time to start grinding in order to prepare for the dungeon so that we can actually get through it. You know what I mean? 
So but I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep on this over this week, and we'll see we'll see what we can do. Um, but for now, we are standing here at the town inn, ready to rock. I think that's you know what I think that might be what I do though. I might I might do a grind. Let me down on them alone if you think that's a good strategy. I think it is. I think maybe grinding, maybe off cam, uh, do some grinding or uh, uh, one of those unlisted videos. Um, do some grinding, get the horns, buy the things we need, prep up, get to the dungeon. And if we take some some smacks and we have to we have to use some items to get through, then well, we use some items to get through. All right, cool. So let's go to the wrap up and kick this off. All right, guys. So that was it. That was your dungeon four festivities for the day here in Golden Axe Warrior. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming back and, and watching this. I mean, it's it's such a fun thing for me to do because it's, you know, this is a game that I had for a very long time before the days of the internet. I didn't have the cool, awesome guys that, yes, are is indeed are linked below um, in the description. I didn't have these maps. I didn't have all that kind of stuff. So it's cool to have these tools now and get the to actually get through the game. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the end is. I don't know if I've ever... I must have. I must have had the canoe. Maybe I never finished the. Maybe I never finished Dungeon Four, and maybe that was the problem. Like I tried to get further, and I just couldn't because there were certain unpassable areas, and I didn't realize that you had to use magic, or maybe I was missing one of the scrolls or something. Which I could. I, I had to have had the Earth Scroll because you have. You can't get through the dungeon without it. But I don't know. I don't know what it was. But when I was playing, I got to an area where it was just I couldn't get through. And I, I must have been making a, some kind of mistake, but I've got all the tools now, and we're going to be getting through it together, which is awesome. So that's all for right now. Um, we'll catch you next time for some good times. Don't forget, uh, throughout the rest of the week, we got all sorts of cool stuff. If you're into retro scenes, we got Intellivision stuff coming coming on Tuesdays. We've got indie games on wednesdays we got atari vcs on thursday and of course we wrap it up with evercade fridays and then the evercast on saturday so lots of cool stuff here on the channel so uh hope hope to you see you in the comment sections of other videos too all right cool well again once again we'll catch you next time for some good times i'm rich we will see you later take it easy guys Take it ice cream dot com.